the railing was stuck in traffic. This seems to be the most common reason given in Bangalore, be it rain or shine. The city's infrastructure always takes a toll on its citizens. Remember the time a software engineer rode on a white horse to work to protest the traffic jams and commuting horrors? Yeah, it's that bad. In fact, it's so bad that a report says that a 10 million Bangalore spends more than 60 crore man hours and 3,700 crore rupees on traffic jams alone. Today, we're going to discuss if the new tech sector, especially the industry related to artificial intelligence, machine learning and big data, is suffering because of these breakdowns in Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India. George describes Bangalore in his book SQ as It is perhaps woven into the texture of the human mind to build and enjoy, then to overbuild and suffer, then to collapse and complain, and then to become argumentative about what happened. Touché. But why the tech sector? Why is the tech sector suffering the most in this situation? Just Jeet Kaur, director at Amaticus Learning, shows us why. The Indian IT exports today stand at $126 billion, slated to grow to $250 billion by 2020, contributing to 7.5% of the GDP. 34% um, of this is contributed by the state of Karnataka, which is largely uh, through the city of Bangalore. So, as we can see, as an impact, the city of Bangalore is one of the most significant in India, whether it's for delivery of artificial intelligence, analytics, or any other uh, digital transformation. Oh my god, is Bangalore on the verge of being Bangalore? This is not entirely impossible, says Guru Prasad Srinivasan, president of Heptagon Technologies. Bangalore losing its charm. I think it's time to wake up. Bangalore has already started uh, losing the charm. It is clearly visible that there is a migration which has already started to the neighboring states. One of the biggest challenges that Bangalore faces is about traffic management and the other is about infrastructure. Speaking of traffic, famous British best-selling author Geoffrey Archer had once faced the wrath of Bangalore traffic. It was a shock for him because he said, A woman walking on the pavement overtook my car eight times and my car overtook her eight times. Two more times and we would have been engaged. But the saving grace for the city is that Bangalore is extremely talented. 75% of digital global talent sits out of India. So as much as we know that Bangalore has infrastructure issues, road issues and the metro still a while away, uh, I think with the kind of talent it has today and with the kind of uh, uh, the people and the skill based uh, knowledge that they have, they will still have a huge contribution in this digital transformation that's going to happen over the next three to four years and the impact will be there but may not be significant. But all is not lost. New techs such as data science, analytics and AI can help a lot with these problems. It actually solves it extremely well and the teething issues like traffic management can be extremely managed well when multiple systems can be brought together starting from orchestrating system, starting from CCTVs to radars to artificial intelligence in place, loaded everything in a combination and putting up on the cloud can throw up intelligent data for the commuters day in day out and can also send intelligent uh, messages in terms of the entire traffic signal management through and through across the city. These new technologies are the only way we can shape in which the way the city grows from this point on. So our advice is stop breaking the traffic rules and start programming.